husband has been disturbed. Papa Majesty, Papa Majesty, look, Marco Polo. May Buddha smile on this anniversary of your birth, oh great Kubla! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> and may you have many, many more! <laughs> <laughs> Me? You haven't told us a story for days. Story? You call my stories stories? Well, my stories are true adventures from my great journey. Oh, tell us another adventure, please. Please, please. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be at your lessons? The story, the story. Very well, very well. Now listen carefully. Once. Many years ago, while making our great journey to your palace, we came across a strange and mysterious territory called Labri. <laughs> we stopped, for my father wanted to make a contract with the Labrians. Well, while he and my uncle were drawing up the contracts, I decided to set out and see the sights. I was a little scared, but I tried not to show it. Make way for Marco Polo. Here I come. come, come, come. Oh. And suddenly I came upon the kingdom of the tree people. It was an exquisite place. A city built high in the branches of the tall jungle trees. And do you know I wasn't there two minutes before I made two good friends. They thought me very curious because I didn't have a tail. So they decided to take me to see their king. It was quite a ride, Woo! way up to the top of the tallest tree. <laughs> and it seemed that everybody was interested in the strange fellow, me. It was a lovely castle. And I met the king, who was very much like your father, except, of course, he had a tail. Greetings, Marco Polo. We are Kubla Tail. We are pleased you have chosen to visit the tree people. You and your subjects have shown me great hospitality. On the contrary, we have shown you tree hospitality. It is lovely because my people are lovely. You see, we are a very peaceful people. We wouldn't hurt a fly, even a mean old fly. Why? Because we eat nothing but peace berries. Peace berries? So these are the peace berries. Eat a diet of peace berries, and you'll never be angry again. Never? Never. When things look just as mean as can be, step right up to the peace berry tree. Only takes a few to make a new world come in view. Pick a berry, eat a berry, from the tree so sweet and merry. Only one is necessary. Chew a little blue peace berry. Peace berry, peace berry. Start life a new berry. Peace berry, true berry, berry for you. You'll find soon that a berry a day keeps that old Mr. Gloom far away. No more room for hate. 
Because your heart just feels too great No more scurry, no more flurry Take your time, no need to hurry No more war, so no more worry Think about a pink peaceberry a mean old fellow. Well, well, why don't you do something? What can we do? Well, why don't you fight back? Because we are peaceful. And if we fought, we wouldn't be peaceful. So we'd rather stay peaceful than fight. I've got an idea. Follow me. I will follow you. I had the tree people gather up all the peace berries they could. Then, I squashed them into juice. You are not a tree person. You've been working so hard. Surely you must be thirsty. Give me that. Good. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Zongo was a very peaceful giant now. He became a tree person. And the berry juice even made him grow a huge tail. Peace, Mary. Wave goodbye and never saw them again. And it really happened? I saw it with my own eyes. Of course, perhaps they may have been closed and there's just a chance I might have been dreaming. But nevertheless. I believe you, Marco. And the two people lived happy ever after, didn't they? Well, that's difficult to say. You see, Ever hasn't aftered yet. Huh? Marco!